Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Ohio set another record for new coronavirus cases today, just under 5,000. Another 214 people hospitalized and 33 more people have died from coronavirus in Ohio. There are also a record number of patients in Ohio hospitals right now being treated for COVID-19. More than 2,000 and more than 500 are in ICU. That is another record. And more of Ohio is going red on the public health advisory map. 56 counties now at level three for very high coronavirus exposure and spread. Every Ohio county reaches the CDC definition of high incident. The risk of catching this virus in every county is very real and certainly is very concerning. Governor DeWine also named a new director for the Ohio Department of Health. It's Stephanie McLeod. She currently runs the Bureau of Workers' Compensation. He also named a new chief medical officer at the health department, Dr. Bruce Vanderhoff. In some cases, people who are forced to quarantine may be eligible for unemployment compensation. Lieutenant Governor John Husted said it's for people ordered to stay home by their employer or the health department, but they have exhausted their health leave that's available. There are other qualifications you must meet. The state posted that information on its website. Charities all around Ohio are struggling to stay afloat during this pandemic. A new study from Ohio State found that nearly 15% of nonprofits have been forced to cut or furlough staff since this pandemic began. So many others are also now being forced to offer reduced services or no services at all. One of the big reasons is because many charities rely on individual donations to provide those services, and nearly half the nonprofits in Ohio say those donations have plummeted this year. The pandemic is not hurting new car sales in Northeast Ohio. Sales last month were almost identical to sales from the same time period one year ago. Northeast Ohio dealerships sold more than 22,000 new trucks, cars and SUVs this October, which is actually up 0.1% from October of 2019. Chevy was the best selling brand in the region, followed by Ford and then Honda. All right, Mark's chomping at the bit here to tell us about what's here happening Here we go. Outside. Great warm weather. If you like the last two days, we give you five more before the next round of rain comes. 70s all across the board. I think tomorrow lower 70s looks good. After a coolish night tonight, mid 40s, clouds early, and then you get some clearing coming in after midnight. Tomorrow that's going to lead us to bright sunshine. Let's do 71 degrees. Why not? Akron Canton, a high near 70 with tons of sun. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.